Michael Jansen here. This video is on my top 12 tips for growing Facebook pages. So as I've said before, I believe that a six-figure Facebook page should be making about a six-figure income, especially when you successfully drive traffic back to a properly monetized blog. I don't have a six-figure Facebook page yet. I just hit 30,000 this past weekend. But my page has doubled in size in about a month, and it keeps growing. I suspect I'll probably hit 100,000 by the end of the year. There's no trick to growing a Facebook page. Well, no white hat tricks, but there are some best practices. So here are some of the things I've been doing to grow my Facebook page. Be more social. Answer readers' questions, read comments, follow up, reshare photos and links that followers share with you. Always thank people for their time and comments. Facebook is a social platform. Be social, be yourself, be real, no matter how big your page gets. Upload great photos. Don't just post a link and let Facebook pop in that usual UI. Upload an image. 410 by 410 seems to work best. Make a comment. Always link to the source. I found that the full images get 10 times the shares, likes, and comments. Post steadily. Just like blogging, I don't think there's a magic number of posts per day or week, but I do think consistency matters. I try to post at least 10 posts a day on Facebook, but have done more, and so many that I've sometimes gotten complaints. The complaints tell me that I've reached a threshold of becoming annoying, an excellent time for me to chill out and schedule those posts for the future instead of posting them that day. Speaking of, schedule posts. Since you can't be at your computer all day, schedule posts to publish throughout the day. I'm currently spreading my posts out in three-hour increments, starting at 6 a.m., 6, 9, noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m. I get up early and post them first thing. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and post several days in advance. The three-hour time gaps also allow me to post additional posts if I happen to come across something uh, worthwhile. At some point, I may bump the frequency up to two hours or even one hour to test that effectiveness versus annoyance threshold. Ask questions. Post questions with photos even try using that Facebook survey tool. Posts with good succinct questions often get more comments. Create fan gated pages. A fan gated page is simply a page that has hidden content for fans and by clicking like the user gets immediate access to the content. So create quality original content for your fans like a free download and be sure to make the page visible in your apps bar at the top of the page. Every now and then be sure to make mention of the content on that page and direct people to it. When the page gets reshared with the friends of followers, your follower base should grow. Run giveaways. If you have something to sell on your blog, try running a giveaway. I use a free service called Rafflecopter. It's not perfect. It needs a mobile version. It's a little confusing to some people, but for the most part, it's very successful. Mention it to your readers every day or so at different times. Since only about 16% of your followers will see each of your posts, you can guess that in a week, all of your readers should pick up on the fact that you're running a giveaway. Also be sure to follow your local laws and Facebook's policies. You don't want to get booted. You don't want to get sued. Create game posts. I've done a few of these now, like find the difference illustrations or word searches. These little games always get tons of comments because People like the challenge. Be sure to test the formats and games that work best for your audience. For example, I found that crosswords just don't work well with my community. Also note that game posts will require some clever content creation on your part, like getting into a graphics drawing program and, uh, and creating something. Reshare photos from other pages. The fastest way to grow a page seems to be when big pages share your posts. For example, if you post a giveaway, game, or exceptionally good photo, you may find that it has more viral lift than other, other posts. This is coming from those reshares from people and pages. Connect with other page owners. Rethink competition altogether. On the web, there's no limit to the number of clicks and page views available. In other words, you're not competing for a limited resource. So if the content is good and you're connected to other places with good content, your followers and readers will stay online longer and traffic will churn between all the sites. 
when you find page owners and bloggers that understand this and think differently about competition as you do, you'll find everyone becoming more successful and your community strengthens. Link to other blogs and your own blog. You'll get noticed by other bloggers when you post a link to their blogs, just like you might when you post a link to a blog from your blog. This will also be much appreciated by your followers, especially if you consistently link to valuable content. But this practice will also get everyone familiar with the fact that your posts often have useful links off Facebook, which helps build the habit of following your links. Stay on topic. I've tried a few off-topic posts and they always flop. The reason is simple and obvious. People come to your page for the content you've chosen to post. So when you stray from that, you lose trust with your readers. Implement these tips and your page should grow steadily. Hey, and you didn't even have to drink any snake oil from a pro blogger with an ebook to sell. How nice. Thanks for listening. While they may be competitors, these blogpreneurs say that cooperation and links between their sites is another key factor. Kent sells one of my plans, I pay him a commission. If I sell one of Jay's plans, I make a commission. The combined websites are all generating all of this traffic. It really amplifies and, and benefits us all in a business way. Uh, better than if we were fighting against each other's competitors. Looking at blogs this way, they've clearly moved beyond their soapbox for loudmouth image. What they really are, um, are a publishing system. It's really a, it's really a simple content management system that um, a novice web user can use. So if you can send an email, you can blog.